Testing, one, two, one, two. Hey, everybody. We're getting ready to start now. Almost there, almost there. Have a look at what's going on here. Uh, some people waiting in the chat, very nice. Let's take this opportunity, to the music went down a bit too. Bring down the music and switch to regular camera. Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's been <laughs> actually this week. I've been streaming like a maniac. I I did Monday, I did Wednesday, and now I did today. I think this this channel is now dedicated to me. <laughs> this is welcome to the Abe Duque three four three TV channel. <laughs> You're watching 343 TV. We are from 343 Labs. Uh, we have a school uh, where we teach you how to produce, how to write, how to record, how to mix, how to master all your music. Uh, we have schools in Berlin. We have schools in, well, we have a school in Berlin at uh, Riverside Studios. We have a school in New York uh, near the NYU campus. Uh, we uh, also teach many, 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 many classes online. Uh, we have uh, classes uh, starting all the time. I have a class starting on Monday. Um, Monday and Wednesdays they meet in, at 7 p.m. Uh, on Ableton. It's a intermediate, somewhat advanced Ableton class. Uh, and then I have another mixing and mastering class starting a couple of weeks later after that. Uh, in the meantime, we have a lot of other classes and a lot of other instructors. Come and check us out. Come and see um, what you'd like to learn, and we can spoon feed it to you. Okay, this is, uh, again, 343 TV. We're here every day at 1 p.m. We have shows covering everything you might want to learn about uh, music production, music writing, uh, composition, mixing and mastering, and all the likes. So come to our website at... Uh, 343labs.com. Check out our, our schedule. Maybe take a class if you can. If you want to check out our German website, we have 343labs.de. It's uh, uh, also uh, in English. <laughs> so I don't, it's kind of redundant a, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, come on down. And uh, also, uh, while, I'm at, while we're here, can you just maybe give us a, uh, a like if you like what you see? If not, uh, you could also... Uh, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get up uh, over 9,000. And we got, oh, actually, last time on Wednesday I was here, we weren't under 9,000 subscribers. Now we're over 9,000 subscribers. That's great. Now let's let's shoot for 10, 10K. That's what we're looking for, 10K subscribers. All right. Um, today uh, we have a lot, of, a nice show, an amazing show planned for you guys. We have the return of DJ Hell, who was one of the, biggest guests we've had on this show so far i mean you guys have been asking you guys didn't get enough of him earlier on and today later on um, we're gonna put him on and talk to you guys about uh well we're gonna talk to him about his new album he has a couple of new albums actually right now but i think we're gonna talk about one of them i think he <laughs> the guy is amazing he has like seven albums at one time it's um, incredible Anyway, um, let's get right to uh, the main parts of the show today. You know I can't do this show now without doing the news, and I need to do a little intro. So you're watching 343 TV, and this is the news. Wait, I got to do that again. Once again, I had the, the, the movie uh, sound muted. I'm going to try this again. Ready? You're watching 343 TV, and this is the news. Now, that was better. Okay, let's see. What do we have in the news today? Uh, we're just going to get through these items as quickly as possible. Um, lots of good stuff in the news, though. Let's see. We have Native Instruments and Isotope join forces in a new alliance. That's right. Uh, Native Instruments and Isotope are joining forces in a new technology group. The two companies will continue to operate independently, but share, they will share knowledge and technology in order to enhance their product offerings and shape the future of music making, according to the press release. 
under the new form group, which will be backed by Francisco Partners the and EMH Partners. The two companies will continue to operate independently without structural changes to the, to the firm. Uh, and yeah, let's see what comes out of this stuff. I mean, you, you guys know a native instruments very for a very long time now. They uh, they bring you tractor, they bring you uh, complete, they bring you uh, all sorts of, of of plugins and great stuff, great stuff. And Isotope, of course, you know that for they have their uh, plugins that are related to mixing, mastering, vocal recording, all sorts of stuff. So let's see what happens with uh, with this new partnership. All right, moving on. Let's go to the next uh, topic in the news. Oh, a sad note. Uh, cassette tape inventor Lou Otten dies. Otten, I, Ottens, I guess his name is. Lou Ottens dies at 94. This is from uh, Music Radar. The Dutch engineer whose Philips team developed the audio tape cassette has died. Age 94. Lou Ottens died in his hometown of uh, Duisel, Duisel. I don't know how do you, I, I don't speak Dutch, so uh, he, um, I might be messing up that name. Uh, his family has announced this. Uh, first introduced in 1960s, the cassette not only offered convenience and portability, ultimately birthing the Walkman, but many engineers, pr uh, producers, and musicians cut their recording teeth on the many four-track machines that it enabled. Uh, I have a, still a collection of cassettes that I have boxes and boxes of old mixtapes and cassettes that I've been collecting since back in the s late 70s, I guess, 80s. No, maybe in the 80s was when I first started collecting cassettes. Um, and so from time to time, I go through it. Uh, but there's so many. Anyway, let's keep moving. Um, the next item is that, uh, yeah, the uh, 2021 MacBook Pros... Uh, to enter production in the second half of this year. Now, you know, a Apple has done an amazing thing recently with their M1 chips, which have just is a game changer across the whole industry. Uh, the uh, and and so Apple is working hard to transition its entire Mac range from Intel processors to their in-house developed silicon uh, chips. In the span of two years, they want to have all the Intel stuff out of there. Uh, word on the street is that uh, the first uh, crop of M1-powered laptops will be followed by a new 14-inch and a 16-inch MacBook Pro models uh, with powerful uh, new internals. And, and, and when we say powerful, the, these M1 chips are just, it, 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 you can't even say it's just a little improvement or a nice improvement. It's an insane improvement in, in power. They really changed the game now. It's a, I, I thought for a second, I thought Apple was done, to be honest with you guys. I thought Apple just didn't didn't have it you know what it took anymore because some of the some of their products were were lagging and and, and some of their you know like I, there was a point where their keyboards weren't really good on their on their macbooks and but uh now with this m1 chip well they've bought themselves a new a new life here the upcoming macbook pro models are expected to feature more powerful apple processors with 12 to 16 cpu cores um, they're also rum rumored to feature mini LED displays, a subtle redesign on the chassis. Uh, oh, and really cool stuff is that they're bringing back the USB-A and the Ethernet ports, which is what? <laughs> that's that that's totally unexpected, but really cool. Can't wait. Um, let's see. Let's move on to the next topic here. Oh, yeah. Steinberg. So Steinberg. You know, if you guys have ever used any Steinberg products, uh, you know that Steinberg uses this thing called a dongle. <laughs> Unfortunate name. <clears throat> this is, by the way, from Gear News. A lot of our mu news today is from Gear News. This is uh, the news that we th that we are pretty sure that all Steinberg Cubase users will be happy to hear about. Uh, the e-licensor dongle uh, soon will be history. And the problems that uh, this much maligned copy protection still used on many computer systems today uh, will finally be a thing of the past. Cubase will soon be using a new copy protection system that does without the dongle occupying USB port. So uh, goodbye, dongle. <laughs> goodbye. All right. Let's move to the next item. I'm trying to get through this news because I'm really excited about our guest coming in today. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, what would be, <laughs> what would be this new segment without 
a little bit of Behringer. Yep, here we are, Behringer, once again. This is again from Gear News. U.S. Patent Office rejects registration of Behringer Oberheim. So apparently Behringer wants to use the name Oberheim in their... In their uh, in their synthesizer, uh, I guess, which one is it? Uh, the OB, uh, well, let me read what, what the story says. Uh, this ever complex ownership of the Oberheim name uh, in the U.S. Patent Office has de- decided, the U.S. Patent Office has decided it would cause too much confusion for Berenger to use it. Music Tribe has filled an application to use uh, the name Berenger Oberheim in August of 2020. Uh, in Europe, it's a slightly different story where the trademark of the name Oberheim is essentially, uh, essentially lapsed through the lack of use uh, because it hasn't been you know, a lot of Oberheim synthesizers happening in the last y- years or whatever, uh, and the, which has allowed Behringer to, to add Oberheim to, this, to the list of brands and is probably behind their decision um, uh, to uh, relabel the prototype OB uh, Oberheim OB XA uh, clone um, with uh, OB XA uh, Oberheim branded. Um, this is again Oberheim has just just sees. I mean, not Oberheim, but Berenger just sees no 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 way to stop in in the way that they first they're cloning everything, including. Uh, you know things you would never expect, and they're coming with these clones over. I mean, like it's it's insane. Some of the stuff is really good. I, I know a lot of you guys enjoy some of these clones, uh, but now they're they're trying to like uh, patent the uh, the Oberheim name in the U.S. and they've been put a, there's, there's a halt been put on that. Anyway, that's our news for today. And once again, this is three four three TV, and this was this week's news. All right, so let's get back to the. Uh, to my main screen here so yeah as i was saying today uh we have a special guest you know i wanted to i I rushed through that news so that we can get to this guest uh he's sitting there waiting so patiently in the green room uh and but without further ado without further ado i want to bring him in everybody dj hell let me just assign him to there we go there you go hey hell hello he gets uh you uh, okay you know I, I just have some other news for the apple thing they, they want to put their uh, they announced that the chip production is going to go to munich they invest a lot of money into uh, a new like um factory chip chip production factory in munich Oh really? So a lot of people will work there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but you know. What? what you want to get a job at at, at Apple now, no, making chips? Time, <laughs> you know, Apple people will be around. You know, <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, they're already there in Munich, but they they announced yesterday they will put like one billion of dollars into a new chip production factory in Munich. It's in Munich now. Oh, nice. Well, that's that's. I don't, I can't see that being bad news. You know, you don't. Yeah, but you know. Uh, think about uh, uh, San Francisco and, and you know and and how the city changed with all this kind of companies and stuff. And, uh, oh, okay. I, I, I see. I mean, it, as as it isn't, it, it's already expensive enough to live in Munich, right? Yeah, it's very expensive. I don't. It, you know, it can't get high. It's one of the most expensive places, maybe in Europe. No, not not like Paris or London, but it is expensive. So, not sure about the people they they will work for Apple if they're gonna come to our nightclubs. Right. So, just for, for those that you didn't know, DJ Hell is a uh, is from Munich. He's, he's a Bavarian man, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. And and so he, he we're discussing his country, Bavaria, which is you know where where uh, Apple is now coming and and and, and maybe bringing all their their or maybe hiring a lot of people i don't know maybe maybe it's just factory workers maybe they're not really developing stuff there you know maybe it's just a plant just making the chips yeah, yeah. no it's also it's, it's production and and development i don't know I, I don't know exactly they just announced it we're gonna right. come you know well so, anyway regardless what's going yeah. on man how you been we, we which is a month ago you were here at the show you've been um where are you now? Are you in Munich or are you in Berlin? 
No, that's my that's my living room in Munich. And um, uh, yesterday I was in the studio with the old, old old chap of you, a buddy of you called Richard Parks. All right, as a scout, yeah. He has a new studio. It's he's very into digital now. And, oh really? And, yeah, I mean, he stopped doing it in the nineties because he was he was coming from the analog world, you know. And uh, I mean, then um, he he was fed up with the whole thing, went into digital, and and and, and you know, he he was working for Volkswagen probably for many years mm -hmm. in Wolfsburg, and now he's back on a trap, and we're doing a lot of cool stuff now. And uh, he has a great studio. We, yeah, I see some pictures from there. You sent some pictures, no? Yeah. yeah. yeah I... So, so he, he, we found that Roland has a cloud now, Roland drum computer, and you can you can rent everything from the cloud, you know, all the 101, 303, 808. You don't have to use it anymore. You just pay like a month of rent. <laughs> really? Yeah, and then you, 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 you open the cloud, and there's every instrument ever produced by Roland is there, and it sounds amazing. Yeah, I mean that that's uh we are we're there, right? Where all these machines now can be totally done on, online without any uh without almost you can't tell the difference, right? The can't. Roland cloud is the next big thing. <laughs> <laughs> How much did Roland pay you for that? <laughs> I don't know what they charge for for like four weeks, but you can have like a, a year contract or a month, you know, whatever. Just whenever you need it, just you know, pay something. You rent, you rent their sound designs or or drum computer. It's very easy to program, and the three or three have a lot of extra features. Oh, it's ones a, that weren't found on the original. It's amazing. It's really cool. Nice. Even I can handle it. You know. So you could put it on your laptop and and just yeah, on go. your iPhone everywhere. On the iPhone. Wow. So. Um, we're here to discuss your new album. How many? You have two albums right now. You said, or or one album at the moment. No, it's two two albums and and some remixes for Soft Cell and some some tracks for compilations. Uh, it's it's all at the same time, and you know I didn't plan to release everything at the same time, but it's on different labels, and they decide to put it out now. Well, why not? Why not? I mean. Yep. You have enough in you to keep on going and have more, m more material. There, I'm sure there's going to be two more albums <laughs> coming uh, very two soon. Two more albums ready to release, and I, I have to think about what to do with it. You know, there's so many stuff not released, good stuff, really stuff I like, and and you know I have to think about when to release it and what when when it's a good time. But it will be released pretty soon. Right. So um, let's see. Uh, lots of people in the chat are welcoming you. Yeah. Simple Sam says, welcome, DJ Hell. Um, let's see. We have a good number of people watching us right now. I have some questions from the last time that we were you were yeah. here. That some, some people have been writing in some questions. So I have some questions that I want you to maybe listen to and maybe answer. If you, um, uh, Oh, it seems to be there's an echo on your voice, Hell. Hold on. Maybe um, we can take you down. I think I, I, I fixed it now. But uh, I know what it was, actually. Uh, I hope I do, at least. All right. Um, let's try that again. Can you say something, Hal? Yeah, no more echo. echo. No, I no, I don't think I don't think there's an echo now. Okay, so let's uh, let's play some of this album, no? Let's play at least. First of all, the one that I have is the one with. Is it Messe? Or how do you pronounce it? Mese. 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 Okay. Mese. Uh, and, and X Hell times Hell. Yeah. Or what? Yeah. Yeah. And the name of the album is because this is in German. So I don't know what it means. You sent me a German text. But you know what's Angst is? It's like fear. fear. Okay. So the album is called Angst. No, it, it it says there's don't you know we take all your fear you know don't be like how can you describe that don't be don't be afraid don't be afraid we, can, we, can, we take me and Jonathan we take 
all that fear from all the world and they're gonna save you we're gonna save you hold on i'm just turning off my speakers i think that's what was the 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 the, the the, the looping of your voice. So you're going to save the world with your, yeah. from, from their fears. And, and, and his mother. Uh, what? <laughs> and his mother. 90 year what well, His mother is 91 years old and he, he is featuring on two tracks. Okay. The mother so is his, performing on two his songs. His mom is performing. Okay, I got to hear this. Which track? Let's play one of his mom's tracks. Because now you got me, you got me really interested. What, what do you mean, his his mom? Which which one of the tracks is with his mom? Please tell me. I think it's er- Erzliebe. It's mostly German tracks. Or mm. das erste Streich. Streich. No, Streit. Angst. No. No. Not. Uh, Tromain. No. Mutter dance, mother dance, no. Power of love. Yeah, check that one. Yeah. Uh, we have also Kunst ist chi, che, chef. Yeah. It, it means art is chief. Art and, is the boss. Right. Uh, so I should play Power of Love now. Yes, please. Okay, let's play Power of Love. <laughs> So I'm going to lower it while we talk a little bit. So this is his mom. Yep. You said he's she's 94 years old or something? 91. 91 years old. <laughs> How did this go? You brought her into the studio or you you went over the, to her place and played her the music and no, no, just... Uh, we were in the studio, the Trick studio in Berlin with, with Jonathan. And, she was uh, in the studio? Yeah, of course. I mean, she's in very good con- uh, condition. Uh, how can I say that about an old lady? And, uh, you know, Jonathan was born in Japan, in Tokyo. And when he was three years old, they went back to Germany. She, she's, I think she split with her husband. And then there was three kids and, and Brigitte Messe were going back to Germany. 
uh, and, and he, he would start learning like German because he couldn't only speak Japanese, you know, and then uh, since that, they, they were always together, Jonathan and Brigitte. They, they like, like a very unusual relationship with mother and son. So when he's doing his art, she's always with him in, 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 in like his place where he do the paintings. So he's, he, 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 he's doing an exhibition in Vienna today. And Brigitte is with him, so she wow. was kind of she was kind of manager for many years, but now she's just like supporting him, and 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 he, and she's like having opinion to everything he's doing. So when we do interviews now to the album, Brigitte is always part of it. All right, uh, the, this she's part of the project. That's great, amazing track. Let's uh, let's play another track from the from the album. I'm just gonna pick one at random. Let's go with uh, with this one here. Not when the kite did. I don't know. Okay, I would I'm gonna play that one and see what how it goes. Okay, what is what is this all about? <laughs> I mean, you can. I think you can. You can. You can feel me. It's my beats, you know. It's my. It's my rhythm. It's yeah, my, totally. My, yeah, and jo Jonathan comes on top, and I think he goes in the tradition with German singers like Gabi Delgado from Deutsche Amerikanische Freundschaft or. Mm. Blixa Bargeld from Einstürze Neubauten or even Kraftwerk. They were not singing, you know, they had like vocoder or talking or messages. So in this kind of tradition, Jonathan Mese is, it fits completely. So, so that's I, his voice, that's him speaking. That's his voice. He's, a, he's like a voice uh, acrobat, you know, he can do anything with his voice. So I use his voice as an instrument on top of my songs. And he so, and on, on his art, on, on his paintings, 
he writes down messages, you know, and information. And that information is now uh, on, uh, in, into that songs, you know, his message is into there for everybody. And he totally loves it because it brings his persona and his art to the next level. And and it's still me, you know. So the, the process was like, I mean, you can hear a lot of 909 in there and a lot of mm -hmm. sequences. And uh, I don't know, it's Oberheim on top. And, and, and in the studio I'm working, they have all analog gear. And uh, so I... I gave him like loops on the headphone and he were performing live like 20 minutes. Like vocals, whatever. So he, he was prepared before for the song, you know, it was like this song was like uh, uh, Gesamtkunstwerk Deutschland, that means it's uh, Germany is like an art project, you know. So he goes into that with this, with this uh, understanding. And, and my thing was, I gonna edit the, the most important parts when he was really into it, or he was saying something really interesting to make it like a song, you know, a song structure. I don't take it like one to one what he did live, but there was a lot of great moments when he says, you know, just like the S tone. And I just looped it because it was so great. And when he was laughing, I just returned it, so the ah 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 becomes like a ha 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 ha, you know, it's really like intense, intense moment. And and when I listen to the stuff in a car because there is no clubs, I'm I'm totally freaking out about that stuff because it's so it it's so intense, it's so heavy, it's it's I just love it. I just yeah, love I it. must Not say I really, I really enjoyed this album. I, I, I listened for the first time today to the whole thing straight through, and I was like, "Wow, this is a very powerful album." So, w where did you record it? In his studio or another studio? Where, where no, did you guys? Tricks, tricks at Moritzplatz in in Berlin. It's a studio you can rent, and mm -hmm. and you tell them what you're gonna, what you're gonna use, and they prepare it. So I said I want to have some Fender Road, some some 909, 808, 101. Oberheim, some, some, uh, what else? Uh, some Chuno, you know, typical stuff. We gonna we, we used already with in your studio. It's not, nothing. Uh, Jupiter was there, you know. They have everything. MS Twenty, whatever you want need, it's there. We have a, a comment from DJ Sweaty Sack. <laughs> uh, so, sounds pretty badass. Fresh that uh, that DJ techno hell techno sound. That's what yeah, it, says. it is. It's that, yeah. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, DJ Hell is Kunst, somebody says. It's uh, art, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is referring to the first song. I was having DAF vibes for sure, uh, uh, says uh, yeah. Simple Sam. Um, let's see. Jim, Jim Jones is doing the clapping icon, so oh, yeah, giving yeah. you some, okay. some clap. Uh, this could be a performance art piece, somebody says as well. So people are very much enjoying uh, this. Uh, people really like it when you come on the show. Um, as I told you, I had questions that were okay. sent to me because I announced it a while back that as soon as we confirmed it that we were that you were coming back, and at that point people started sending in questions to ask you. So are you are you okay for me to ask you a couple of these questions? I'm ready for any questions you wanna. Okay, so I have a question here from Francis. How did you decide to call yourself DJ Hell? Uh, that's the oldest question in history, you know, uh, to me. Because in every interview, they ask me their questions. And I, you know me, I, I, I try to give a different answer since 40 years, you know. So <laughs> let, let me I know think. how. I know why, but go ahead. Um, let me think. Maybe with this new project, you know, it, it, I'm going back into hell, you know, because uh, with Jonathan, I, I got to move to another level, you know, and with his mother, this is something I was, it was never planned, you know, I just didn't have the money to pay his work, his artwork he did for my last album. He was painting the cover of my last album. So I wow. thought, why not going in the studio, you know, in, instead? I, I don't have the money to, to pay you for your work. So 
we went into health studio and make this like hell soundtrack and i don't know why why it comes out like that it was the easiest production i ever did everything comes together like logical smoothly and it was it was like so many magic moments i was you know sometimes i was okay i can tell you i was crying in the studio because it touched me so 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 heavy i was wow. crying with with the mother because you know she's 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 91 years old and she talks about most important thing in life is love and then she explains why, and then she starts talking and, and singing on top of your uh, 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 ideas, and, and this becomes like a totally other level. It's wow. heaven and hell, you know? so it's very intense, and I hope that people will understand what, what we tried to say and or what we did, you know. Yeah, um, I, I, I remember asking you what we should call the show today, and you said, my life is hell. And I yeah. think that's the, that's, for me, that's the best answer why the, you're... Thank you, thank you, Abe. That's the best answer. Yeah. The, you are my DJ life, Hell because your life is hell. My life is hell and that's why I call call me hell as an artist. Right on. Um okay, uh another question. Let's see. Let's try another one. Um okay, here's a simple one. Where was your last gig? Wow. I think it was in Berlin. There was a club closing called a great new club. It already closed. It was called Sisyphus, and they oh, right, opened. Right, a, I remember. Yeah, and they opened a new venue, kind of outside from Berlin, in an old brewery factory, totally fucked up. And it was Sunday daytime. It was cold last year in October. It was raining, and I went there with my friend, and we were sitting in the car in front of this factory, fucked up factory. And I said, "What are we doing here? Why we? Why I'm doing this? You know, in front of maybe two or three hundred people." They don't pay me money and I, you know, and I mean, they paid a little, they paid, you know, something, but not like usual. And I said, why I'm doing this in the rain, it's cold, I'm freezing. I don't want to do it. And then we went inside and, and it was like, it was like Mad Max and, and like science fiction kind of looking, everybody was wearing masks Already. in the outside area, in a closed area. And mm -hmm. I played like and there was 300 people losing their mind. And it, it was so intense. I was sometimes screaming during the set, like, like I couldn't <laughs> handle it. Like you did when yeah. we were playing. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was the best party last year in October I had the whole, in 2020. It was amazing. Cold, winterish, rainy, like, like dirty place. And I loved it. I loved it, you know. <laughs> And uh, yeah, those are the boys, best, right? Yeah, it was the best party. I, I was hating it when we went there. I said, you know, it's Sunday daytime. This is this make no sense in a fucked up place. You know, they just opened this kind of area, and it's there's nothing there. But they built a great sound system, and there was three hundred people dressed in black with like masks and stuff. And and I was thinking, I'm in in the in the Mad, new Mad Max movie, totally science fiction. Yeah, after have, not having played for a very long time myself, I, 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 I find like I remember, like the the those type of scenarios, those type of parties, to be yeah. like the most memorable, the ones that I I, yeah. I appreciate. I'm glad more to live, the ones where remember when we had to carry big boxes of records, carrying yeah. them through like dirty warehouses and yeah. going in through a hole through somewhere and under a tree or, or something, you know, and getting there and completely messing up your back but you know the, ne the ne memory never never goes away you know of that true, stuff true. all those kind of very organized things are just one after the other they all seem the same to me you know it didn't, it didn't have any any memorable sort of thing to them all right i'm gonna play yeah. another track if it's okay, okay. with you so uh, can you uh, play okay uh hop kind of angst hop kind of angst have hop no fear angst. yeah hop yeah. kind of angst coming up here we go. Yep. By the way, you're watching 343 TV and you're here with DJ Hell today. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. We listen already to that one. This is, this is, wait, that, oh, wait. I tried again. I'm kind 
This is how I'm kind of sorry. Sorry about that. Hell. What's up, Hell? Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. Nice to see wow. you. You live in the show, or is it an extra, or, or is it? <laughs> I'm He's here. live. I'm live. Huh? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I couldn't come on earlier. Abe wanted me to come say hello, and you okay, know okay, when he did cool. the news, but yeah. uh, I had to do another little meeting before I popped in here. Figured I'd. Uh, okay check out what you're doing all right have no fear yeah i'm your fear don't i am no your fear I am your fear. Don't have any fear. I'm I'm gonna take it. I'm your fear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy sounds. Time. It's like a little bit of what it's is, not is it, ASMR, it's, it's you know, or like the whispering. Yeah. so dry it's like right in your face yeah. like it's got a raw kind of a thing you know just a little cueing on the sequence That reminds me of something, Abe. Are you there? Yeah. He's you were doing that, one of your shows, you were talking about putting reverb on stuff to give it more kind of presence and resonance. But I was thinking about how a lot of music like this gets played in spaces that have reverberation in them. And sometimes making your, your mix really dry is a good thing for certain sound systems in certain spaces. If you know what I mean. Agreed. So like right now, this vocal is so dry and like kind of in your head. If you were to hear this on a PA system, on, you know, at a in a nightclub or at a festival, it would be totally different. A warehouse. Yeah, a it warehouse. Would be completely yeah, this, this different. The warehouse would be huge. As dry as it sounds right now, like that voice would just be big in the room. And it's very hypnotizing. Your kind for the techno right. floor. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, it's made for that. Yeah. It's going endless. <laughs> so we can talk a little bit over it. Maybe. When's yeah. the break? There was already a little break. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I know. The kick drum dropped off. Oh, here comes the. Part, right? Is it all vocal sounds? Yeah, mostly. He can do that. Very, so very this is short. Jonathan just doing his vocal acrobatics. So what? Yeah. Cool. While we listen to this, by the way, you're watching 343 TV. We are here every day at 1 p.m. Uh, we stream uh, every topic that you can imagine regarding creating music, recording music, mixing and mastering music. We have a school at 343labs.com. Come and check us out. Hit the subscribe button. And that's it. Hey, I have an idea. Subscribe button. Yes, go ahead. I got to check the cover of the album. You will understand more why, what it's all about. One second. All right. One second. Come back. What's up? 
what's the name of this album again? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think it's... How, I really don't know. I, I tried to get the... I, I didn't get a straight answer from him earlier about the... It's like A... I, mean, I think it's Mesa X Hell is the is the name of the project and it might be one of those albums named after the name of the project all right all right wait we're gonna see right now go ahead all right this is the album he did from so this is the cover from so this is for this album no okay you ready yeah ready Wait a minute. I I know where those pictures come from. I see what you're doing there. Yep. I think a lot of people will go, what is what? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's that's like that, that's art, man. That's art. <laughs> that's the mother. Yeah. Oh, okay. You pointed to yourself when you said that's the mother. No, it's okay. The mother. the mother's to the okay. The mother. <laughs> all right. Okay. So it comes with a booklet. The 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 album. Yep. No, it's a book. It's an art book. But this is this is wow. This is his mother. <laughs> okay. Okay. One more thing to understand. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Techno. That's pretty besides, good. besides wanting to take our fear away, what yeah, what big what big what big concepts are behind this album? Same you know, rules. This is, this is an artistic statement from you. There's a lot going on here. Like, what's what's the main? If they had to pick one thing that this album is about, <laughs> what would you say it is? Besides putting your picture on top of pictures of Deutsche Amerikanische Freundschaft. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's a kind of collage. An art, a famous artist did this artwork for the book. And the, 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 the interesting thing is he also runs the label. His name is called Daniel Richter. He's a very famous painter. And he's a friend of Jonathan. And he said he want to sign the album and he want to release it. And he's going to design an art book. And when they did the artwork, they copied stuff covers because they were they were laying around and the huge stuff supporters these painters have, have you shown this to to robert at all uh not yet but i'm sure he will be kind of confused or not maybe <laughs> he, i think he has a good sense of humor i think he, he's gonna uh, take it fine I, I, I think he will maybe i'm not sure because it's like you know it's like using uh, old tough artworks you know all over but you know change it so you can do that in the artwork it's a lot to do that and i think it's it's the best artwork i saw for many years it's just it's like outstanding new funny and it it, it brings so much together there's still there's not one word or idea behind it's everything is in there there's so many you know it's, maybe we should do an english version but he also says in one of the songs he says, now it's time to talk and to fight, you know, and and uh, to, to, to change the world, you know, because it's a different world now. And another song, he sings about his mother. And, and then it be, I thought, that, you know, the mother dance. And, and I thought that could be a Chicago check track, you know, dance the mother. Oh, it's coming? That's it, right? Mother dance. No. Mother dance. Mother dance. Mother dance. Dance the mother. <laughs> dance the mother. Yeah. Hey, I've never heard that before. There's no. there's all sorts of things you could read into this if you want to. Yeah. It can mean what you want it to mean. Hans Timota. <laughs> the 
definitely has like that Chicago Jack thing going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the you know, like the Farley kind of early Chicago Jack stuff. Yeah, yeah this is like all very, hell. Very doing 1986. This, I can tell. Very 1986-1987. Were you? You said you were talking. I think I caught you talking about the Rolling Cloud stuff before. Did you guys use that to make this? No, Sally. You have to understand. His mother was in the studio. She's 91 years old. She was with me in the studio. Singing on top of some tr- Chicago Yeah, tracks. no, I, I heard that part. That yeah, I, I I had it on a little earlier before I came on. What an influence to have. Was she at every session? No, she was at two sessions, but that was enough. We worked like ten hours. How long did it take you to create the album? We stopped before the pandemic, before COVID hit the world. And then I was in the studio a couple of times, maybe a year. But there was like sessions, you know. And uh, all together, I worked with a lot of breaks, like one year. But we had like four songs in the beginning. And I didn't know what to do with that. So he said, let's do another session. Let's, and then we did another session. And suddenly there was 12 songs. Oh, there's 12. I only have nine here. On, the, on, the, on digital, there's more. On, on every song, I tried to, to, to find a new idea, a new concept. And... Um, that was not easy, you know, because I never worked in that direction with a famous painter, you know, from, from out of the art world who never went to, into a studio. Ah, so, so Jonathan never never made music never, before this? He had no experience ever. And the mother as well. Maybe you play one of the... I also did some love songs with the mother. Yeah. How about, how about maybe this one? That's some sad electric piano right there. So moody. Liebe ist ein Rohstoff für das Leben. What's this one about, for those of us who don't speak German? It's all about love. It's a love song about love. You know, she talks about... There's no, there's no fear because it's all about love, and, and love is the most important thing in, in, in life. And she tried to explain, you know? Okay. And well, I you, as you, As you're progressing in your career, you're getting... You're showing more your sentimental side, Hell. I always showed my sentimental side, and uh, maybe people didn't listen carefully enough. So, uh, you know, I was thinking what instrument to use for a love song. So I, I said, why not bring your Fender Rhodes in there? And then we use like orchestra and keep it really like simple and, and, um, Yeah, she talks about her kids. Here come the violins. Yep. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure I might have missed something, but I don't think I've heard anything like this from you before. Not in that direction, yeah. That's that's new, that's it's something that I never touched and then, you know, it's like you're making real music. <laughs> like you're not just thinking about the dance floor or the club anymore. It's of course a not. Different, different of course way not. of doing it. It's like it's like writing a love song, you know, producing a love song and, and keep the harmonies together. It's very melodic. Yeah, this is new, but I'm not surprised because. Hell's always doing something different. Oh, I'm always totally into love songs now. Love songs is the next big thing. <laughs> <laughs> you heard you it do a love song with your mother, both of you. That's yeah, a that's a that's powerful. Yeah, I think so too. That's super powerful. So um, yeah, we, we're starting to run out of time. Just uh, quickly before we go, just to remind everybody what they're watching. We're at 343 TV. We have uh, shows every day at 1 p.m. Tomorrow, just that way, you have your show, right? I have my show. Yeah, You're we're doing, doing something about Pro Tools? Again. Yeah, sort of. Uh, you know, the thing with the title sometimes, you know, what we what we put on the title or the thumbnail and what we actually end up doing in the show. Are, it's can, just clickbait or what? I you know, but it, there is some Pro Tools going on. I was my guest is um, Sync Twenty Four, uh, nice. Phil from Cultivated Electronics. He's a you know successful electro producer, and he runs a great label. Um, he's going to come on, and he part of his day job he does he does audio engineering and stuff uh, using Pro Tools, and he also uses that when he's producing his music. And he works with Ableton Live and hardware and outboard gear you know, for processing, and he does a lot of arranging and editing in Pro Tools, and that's unusual. Not a lot of people do this kind of music in Pro Tools, so I thought it'd be interesting to hear from him about his workflow and how he does that. All right. Hey, Sal, uh, so one, one thing. Uh, you, should, you should play the, the track we did together in New York. We did the great Italo track together, and it's not right. signed, it's not released. You should play it, and everybody can sign it out of the show. Well, why? Mm -hmm. Wait, right now? No, tomorrow in your show. <laughs> You know, no, how about it's this? Not how, I think I might do that. You know, maybe I'll put. Sometimes I put on different tracks for the intro and yeah. outro music, and people ask me what it is. So one of these days, when it, maybe I'll do a a show about you know more Italo style stuff, and we can use that. I think the track is is great, and it's still thanks. there. Well, we did it together, so thanks to both of us. Yeah. <laughs> so you thanks, know, it's, guys. Our, it's our project. Sorry, Abe. We're gonna take to the next show. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just for thinking why 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 Cell is not you know showing it to some people. It's a great track maybe and nobody hears it. Maybe because there's only one track and there need to be more. True. Maybe we should uh, try another one. True. Round out the project as it were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Right on. So I wanna play I wanna play more music. I know we, we we're at the end of the show, but we can take a little more time but i have i had a bunch of questions and i i, I just really go all over these questions and i just want to at least ask one more question is that okay, okay. so hell are you ready yeah, true. Hey, the question true. is coming from andrea can you tell us a secret uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh so, some secret yeah secret that's what they asked for Meantime, I play some music. Okay, here's the secret. Hold on, hold on, let me lower the music a little. Here we go. Secret. I only wear Calvin Klein underwear. <laughs> only. Oh, come this, on. Prove this. it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you you trying to like get a get an advertising deal or something? <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, that's, that's a secret, Dave. Nobody knows. It's the truth. Wow. Only, only Tommy Klein. Big secret, huh? Well, this is now a great track. A now it's, now it's, you know. Yeah, What's this track about? Background here. It's an old record from Joey. I'm sorry, you said an old record from... Code Beltram, Code 6. Ah, oh right. Oh. Remember? So it's, a, you, it's a sample. Yeah. Hey, how is it clearing samples these days? Is it hard to do? I don't do it much. <laughs> how do you get away with that? I think, I think Joe would like it, you know, it's just like a, a little loop, not mm. the whole thing, you know, it's just like a, this one line. Somebody in the chat says you just started OnlyFans. What's that? An OnlyFans. An OnlyFans show account? show your underwear. You know, where you could just post pictures for money, you know, people will pay you for secret pictures of you. <laughs> I can open an Instagram account with this. Uh, no, OnlyFans. OnlyFans is, no, only is a thing. You can charge money for it. You can say you, you can charge money. That's a, that's, you got a story subscribe. here. Subscribe, as Abe says. What was that? Sorry, I missed it. Code 6, Joy Beltram. Right. I used the bass line. Nice. And then I played the melody on top. Then some cellos, strings. I was just looking in the comments. Uh, Matster303 says his secret or her secret, it doesn't say, I never wear pants for live streams. <laughs> no pants. <laughs> I mean, you don't, we only see us all from the shoulders up, so how would you know? Yeah. Yes, yeah, cool stuff. Thank you. I never wear pants on live streams. That should be a name for one of our live streams. You should just, you should just make a t-shirt. <laughs> I can't believe it. You showed us your underwear on, on, on live stream. Awesome. I don't care. That's, we're going to make it a clip for highlights of the week. DJ Hell shows his underwear. Nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyway, I guess we should start wrapping it up. I mean, we, we're already over time, but uh, it's been wonderful having you here again, man. Really, Thank you, really, Thank you. really enjoy every time you come. Wh when is your next couple of albums coming so we can have you back? Or, or whenever you actually, you can come back whenever you like. Whenever you're ready to come back, we can always find the reason to have you here. Two big things in the pipeline. I'm going to write about my whole life. It's a biography. I start doing it already. I sold it to a company. Mm -hmm. To get some money, you know, so I tell, I, I write down my my life story, everything. Also the New York story, you know, with the limelight. It's gonna be a big part. Uh, 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 Michael Alec and and Michael Lord, of course, you know him. You were part of the scene there, and uh, and we played a Palladium and Tunnel and stuff. So this will be a big part in in, in the bi biography. And at the same time, there's a guy who's doing a movie about me, and, and it will hopefully release on Netflix. And no, it's, really? it's, about, it's about Electro Clash, Time, and, you know, Fisher Spooner and Crossover, all everything from New York, you know. So, uh, it's already... Uh, the mother says, I can't translate it, she says, you have to be quiet, that 
you can understand what the music is telling you. She said, "That's good. You need you need to listen carefully, so you will understand." So, so there's a movie about me coming, you know, uh, and I saw the first twenty minutes, and it's amazing. You know, it's it's Michael Lord in there as a manager of Wu Tang Clan, saying some some something. You know, you know, Lord Michael. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and, uh, and is it a it's a documentary or is it a, 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 a documentary? Okay, it's I real. thought they they got somebody to play DJ Hell and to react. No, 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 please, no, no, please, please. But it's it's funny. It's it's done really well, very professional. There's a lot of old footage, and they went on tour with me the last two years when it was possible. So there's a lot of uh, uh, party footages, festivals, and I talked a lot in front of the camera. So. It's done very well, and uh, you know, maybe I'm gonna come back to you because you, I need some more information, and I need to you maybe to talk, you know, and and about the time, and 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 I forget a lot of things, so I will come back to Don't you. Don't we all? And all right, and I need more, you know, palladium and and uh, tunnel and and what was that? A Club USA. America, USA, Club USA, USA. USA. Yeah. What else? Ah, save the robots. Save the robots, yeah. Right. right. What else? Oh man, come on! You, we can name Delta. all the old clubs. I mean, the what? club where Junior Junior Vasquez was playing. Twilight Sound Factory. Sound, Sound, oh, Sound Factory. Factory. Thank Sound you. Factory. Yeah, yeah. And then Sound Factory Bar as well. Yeah, it was cool. So there's so many things to talk about it, you know, and and people don't know anymore about the limelight. Nobody knows of, or if you say save the robots, they say what? Well, 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 I never heard the name, you know. So. This will be all in the movie. The Berlin story, the New York story, the, story, the Electro Clash. The and when is, this, when is this story. coming? They're in the middle of the production. I saw the first 20 minutes and I was shocked how good it is. Oh. It's, it's crazy. I will talk to Jeff Mills, of course, and other people. And um, it's, it lo it's looking really cool. And the music is do, great. It's a lot of gigolo stuff, stuff there. And do they, they have a working title? Not yet. Oh. My life is hell, maybe. <laughs> Your life is hell. No, that's the title that of this show. That that's the title of the right. show. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, whatever. Hey, racer or. Well, or, I, I'm, you're, you're great for those titles. Don't worry. I'm sure there's going to be yeah, plenty. There will be some. some All right. So. Hell, okay. thanks again a lot. Thanks and thanks everybody for watching. We, we have a lot of people watching, still watching right now. Uh, so many people in the chat uh, uh, talking to each other and talking about. Uh, uh, oh, somebody says New York got the naked cowboy. We have the naked DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, lots of, lots of good stuff going on in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Underground underwear. <laughs> people, people are making it already something to make jokes about. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You did it to yourself, uh, man. <laughs> you did it to yourself. Wow. With that, uh, John, thanks for joining us again and stopping by uh, Thank tomorrow. You, Thank you. Don't forget to nice watch to John at 1 o'clock. Glad to be here. Guys, good to see, you. Good to see everybody. Thank you, bye bye. Ciao. Bye bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Okay.